Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me this week. So I'm going to be playing from the 22nd to the 28th of May and I'm using my own stickers again. I'm really sorry, but my Etsy order should arrive this weekend. This is the washi that I have chosen for this spread too. So I'm going to start by ripping out the pages because I'm going to be covering up the date dots this week. And I'm just doing that with the gold polka dot washi and I'm just double layering it and then finishing it off with a strip of black glitter tape. Someone advised me on how to set up my camera to film these playing with me so I'm just trying it out this week so if it looks a little bit different from last week it's because it's all completely set up a different way. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it this way or prefer it the other way. But now I'm just trimming off the washi that was left over and I'm doing exactly the same thing to the other sheet. So I'll go day by day and the first thing I'm going to do is set down a piece of washi and then under that I'm going to put two more pieces of washi as a background behind this less Monday more summer sticker. Using my hobby craft card I'm just cutting a black piece of glitter tape to use as a header before putting down my full box which is a little out of shot here. This is easier for me to see what I'm doing but harder for me to see if you can see what I'm doing. I'm sure I'll get there in the end and have the perfect setup. But now I'm just cutting two pieces of polka dot washi just to section off some time to set aside for homework to help my children out. I'm also using a little cute sticker I made for myself. This is like half of an avocado, which I'm obsessed with by the way. I eat them all the time. I probably should slow down on eating them. But then I'm just gonna put down a little TV thing and I just printed off a small TV icon that I just put on top of a piece of washi and then wrote down 13 reasons why. Moving on to Tuesday, I'm just taking the black and white washi and using my card just to make a little header. And then I like to make myself a checklist, especially if I'm using my own stickers and I don't print one out. So I was just using the polka dots from the polka dot washi just to mark down my to clean list. So then I just marked down a few things that I had to clean that day, which is super boring and it's just normal adult mummy life but these things have to be done. I stuck down another piece of washi and these washies are just patterns that I really liked. One is a light pink marble and the other one is lots of hexagons made up of different types of marble. They looked super cute so I just made them into washi strips. I then stuck a big cup down and wrote time for tea under it because you know I'm English and I basically live on tea. Moving on, I just made a half box out of the light pink marble and then stuck a little panda and a film slate just to mark down that I had to edit yesterday's video. I then stuck down at my full box and then also put down another TV little thing that I had on that day which was Pretty Little Liars. Moving on to Wednesday I just put down another washi as a header and then I also stuck down a Good Vibes sticker. I then stuck a half box down and then I ended up taking the page out of my planner because my hand was by the coil and I couldn't write. I've had family visiting here from America and my auntie and uncle fly back this day which I'm super sad about because I have loved having them here. To fill in the gap under that I just laid a piece of the polka dot washi and then another box just to remind myself that my son had his class photos on this day. This sticker was super huge so I just had to move it down just to add this little, I think it's a polar bear holding a camera. I think it's a polar bear. Under that I put my full box and my YouTube sticker because this is the day I upload my usual video on a Wednesday and I also had a TV show on which was Bob's Burgers. Moving on to the next half of the week on the Thursday, I just put down a light header and then also another piece of washi to have as a background underneath this laptop sticker. Sometimes I like layering two sets of washies under it just so it looks a bit more prettier. I just wanted to mark that I had to check my emails and answer comments. For the full box I just stuck down these adidas trainers and then also a little polo bear sitting at his desk just to remind myself I needed to spend the morning at my desk on my computer. Underneath that I put a dark pink marble half box and just wrote down that my youngest son goes up to high school on this day for like a day visit. Super scary as a mum when your children start getting to that age but moving on before I like burst into tears. I'm just kidding, I'm not really going to burst into tears. So under that I just put a little flower sticker and a half box to remind myself that one of my children had play rehearsals on this day. So a couple of you last week were asking if I sell my stickers and currently I'm in the designing process but I should be able to offer my kind of stickers and designing my stickers very shortly so I will obviously keep you updated as and when these are available to buy. 
So on Friday, I just put another header down and a full box. I love this full box with the henna tattoo. Oh, I'm dying. Underneath, I just put a half box with the pink marble just to mark down that it was my son's sports day this day and it was going to last pretty much all day. So these were the only plans I would have because it also had a family picnic afterwards. I then filled in the space with a diamond sticker and then I remembered my son had some gumball stickers in, in a magazine and it had a sandwich sticker so I thought it'd be cute just to steal that and add it into my planner. I also had two TV shows on this day so I just popped them down at the bottom and I can't for the life of me remember what else I have. I know I have two and I know one was keeping up with the Kardashians but I still can't remember what the other one was. Then I just sectioned off a small bit at the bottom with a little piece of washi and I had two bills due this day and I just chose two different colours that would kind of go with the spread and then put a little emoji down with bills. To make it a little bit better I did also have a payday this day so it didn't hurt quite as much as usual. For the weekend I just blocked off a chunk at the top and I tried to match the pattern up as best as I could and then I will come back and make a weekend banner because I completely forgot to print myself one out again. Underneath we do usually do something on a Saturday if my fiancé isn't working so I just stuck down some hearts and I will leave that blank. I did make myself another checklist, um, I did it last week, I just hole punched some hearts out of the black sparkly tape and just stuck them down for my checklist which is usually everything to do with school, it's normally things for my children like their uniforms, PE kit, swim kit. If you're a mum you understand the pain of a Saturday. I also made myself a full box here, I love the girl so I just needed to trim them down but I didn't want to cut her space bun off so I just cut around it and left the space bun on. For Sunday I just filled in a little quarter box which is the pink marble pattern and I just had to tell myself that I needed to go food shopping. And then underneath that I just put a half box down because I wanted to make sure I'd done another plan with me because I'm loving filming these. I then went ahead and made a little page flag with some washi just to put down the film kind of lettering that I'd made and also stuck a little diamond sticker there too. Now I'm going to make my weekend banner because I totally forgot so I've just cut some of the sticker paper off which is completely blank and I'm just going to draw myself a quick weekend banner it's nothing fancy but I just needed to have one. If you can hear a strange noise in the background, it is my cat Marley. He is currently sitting beside me, almost talking to the birds outside. He does this weird sound when he sees birds. So if you can hear anything that's a little bit strange, that's just my cat Marley. Moving on to the sidebar, I'm just gonna put my full quote box down here, which says, I love your eyebrows, what's your secret? And then it has a Sharpie pen. I thought that was hilarious. Underneath that I'm just splitting up the space by adding some polka dot washi and a habit tracker just to track my Instagram so I've just popped an Instagram icon down. Then I'm also going to stick a full box down which will be for my next week which I'm just going to trim. When I do eventually sell my stickers you will not have to trim them, they will all be the right size. Trust me I'm not going to sell half our stickers or anything, they will be perfect. That's why I'm taking so long and making sure that they are exactly perfect before I even try and sell them to anyone. So to fill in the space I just stuck the hexagon pattern down at the bottom which I'm obsessed with and then I also um, added a I need a nap and some deco stickers along the bottom. I like to add deco at the bottom, the larger deco, and then have it half hanging off the page and trim it off. I think it looks kind of nice that way but it's obviously personal preference. Then all I'm going to do is go back and add a few pieces of deco into my spread. I do like white space and that is how I plan but sometimes if it's quite a big chunk of space I do like to fill it in with some stickers that are kind of relevant to what I've written. Like adding the pencil down at the homework and the peace sign where the class photos are. Then I'm just jotting down a few things in my next week section before putting the dates along the top. To fill in the space that was left at the top of my double box, I'm just taking the polka dot washi and layering it on top. And then I'm going to add a small piece of washi and then add yet another tea sticker. I told you I'm addicted, I can't help it. That was it for this spread this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll know when I have got my stickers coming up for you to buy. And make sure you have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye guys.